This old greenhouse has not been used in 25 or more years. It has water. It has no sides. The, um, this is the old heating system. You put water in here and this old stove You'd fill up the bottom there with uh, fuel. No, sorry. There you'd fill it up with fuel. And it would heat up the water. And this would heat up this old greenhouse. And you'd put um, water in these to steam up and fill the greenhouse. And, um, oh, pardon me. You're doing a poo, aren't you? Anyway. I'm planning to resurrect this greenhouse. These are stones that I've collected over the years from the seaside, from all over Ireland. And I love some of the shapes of these stones. There's some gorgeous ones in there. But I'm going to clean up this old greenhouse, resurrect it, uh, rake off all this I, um, moss weed out all the uh, weeds because it's got a beautiful old tile floor. This is, uh, these are beautiful pieces of prehistoric, um, uh, what is it called? Coral. This is, here you can see, this is where the root was. So it splayed out like that. And then over here is the front. Whereas if you, if I wetted it, you'd be able to see all where the stems would go. But I might leave that in the middle. So this is where I'm gonna grow my tomatoes. One of our espaliers is right there. You can see I have some old pots here and more of these seaside stones. Oh, it's beginning to rain. So these are, um, this is my, I bought, I found this by the seaside. I'm afraid I nicked it and brought it home because to me it looks like a Henry Moore statue. I love its sculpted lines. Anyway, uh, so I am going to clean up this old greenhouse that was built by my great, great, great grandmother, or for her. It was against the house and then it was moved up here in 1900. And so this is going to be turned into my sort of vegetable patch for things that want lots of heat because the walls will retain heat like tomatoes and cucumbers i'll grow them in pots here so that should be rather delicious so first things first i've got to rake up all the moss and i'll put it somewhere else because i'm sure birds will be using it for um for nesting and things like that. And everybody's always asking where Bear is. And Bear is always lying down somewhere off camera. I know, it's very boring for puppies. Everybody wants to know how you are and you're fine, aren't you? He's just not interested in being in front of the camera. Unlike some people called Spats. Or some people called Maya. Maya and Spats, yeah. Puppers. Oh, look at a bear. You good boy. Yes, you good boy. Bear. Anyway, so that's the job today is raking the floor of this old greenhouse and starting to resurrect it to grow food. You can see I've got a lovely crop of dandelions as well and seed heads of primroses and things like that. So it's a job that I'm gonna start today. I have a tra road traffic problem. I have an Alsatian that won't move. <laughs> she laid down right in front of the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Pepper's here, protecting the entranceway to the old conservatory that I've been cleaning. So it's beautifully not beautifully, sorry. This is the first step, stage of um, clearing it up. You can see the old tiles here. 
I've got to do some sweeping and some additional weeding like this lady's mantle. Get rid of those. Um, and then there's some daisies and some St. John's wort. So there's, oh, and there's an ash tree. That's an ash tree right there. So loads to do still, but I think that's a start from what was earlier. And Inca's trying to get up onto the wheelbarrow. Do you really want to jump up on that? It does look soft. Oh, look, the traffic jam is gone. She's gone somewhere else. Oh, hello, pup. You good girl. And there's another pup. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go get a glass of water. I think I've done my work for today. The beginnings. And this beautiful espalier apple is uh, right next to this conservatory. There, when I was growing up, there were a lot more of them. We only have two now. We have that one there. Then we have that one that's right there. So only two espaliers left, but they're beautiful and we keep them up, they're hard work.